guys, welcome to your Adventure Compass. Today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're checking out Fremont Street. It's a wild time, there's a lot of places to see and a lot of things to do, come along with us. Well guys, as I mentioned before, Las Vegas is a very loud place, both visually and auditorily. If you look upwards, you'll see those rings. There's about six to eight speakers in every one of those, and they're spaced about 200 feet apart, and they're facing down, and it's just impossible to hear me in the microphone. I wanted to point out some of the things down here. There's a White Castle. There's also a Denny's down here, a Walgreens. You'll find a little bit of everything down here. Um, they even have bars you can walk up to and just get a drink and walk down Fremont Street. The street is completely covered, and there's a video that plays on the rooftop all throughout. This casino is the D and that stands for Detroit and there is an American Coney Island down here and they taste exactly like they do at home. Trust me I had one. They were delicious and over on this wall you'll see tons of familiar photos from the original Detroit location. Fremont Street is home to some of the original casinos here in Las Vegas like the Four Queens, the Golden Nugget and the El Cortez. As you can see, they have some walk-up bars serving frozen drinks. You can just walk up, grab a drink, and walk right down the street. The video that plays on the rooftop is amazing to sit and watch. It changes up quite often, and I understand they change that about once a month as well. You also find tons of entertainment down here. They have several stages, and some of the acts will play pretty late in the evening. One thing to be aware of is that this is Vegas and there are a lot of scams. You'll notice the Vegas showgirls standing here and they will happily come up and take a photo with you and then tell you it costs $40. And they won't take no for an answer once the photo has been taken. So be careful that you don't fall for any of those scams. There will be people who will try and hand you something and say, here's a free CD. And then they try and charge you for it afterwards. So don't accept anything from anyone and uh, don't take any photos with any characters or any Vegas showgirls or anything like that because they will try and get money out of you and it's not going to be cheap. You may have noticed the overhead wires and those are zip lines. You can zip line down the entire length of Fremont Street, which would probably be kind of cool with that rooftop video going at the same time. And right here on this corner, two of the oldest casinos in Las Vegas, the Golden Nugget, which opened in 1946, and Binion's, which opened in 1951. An interesting fact I found out after going to Vegas, and I will definitely have to put this on my must-see list next time, inside the Golden Nugget, they actually have one of the largest Golden Nuggets in its raw form inside the casino on display. Another thing I found out after the fact is that street performers, vendors, showgirls, they all have to stand inside that circle you see them that. Um, that's some sort of rule for Fremont Street. They can only be in that circle and I guess it's supposed to help keep them corralled into certain areas so they're not uh, wandering up and down the street chasing people for money and photos and things like that. They have a VR set up over here where you can sit back and watch something on the headset. In just a second on the left side of the screen, you're going to see the famous Las Vegas Cowboy sign that has been around forever. And over here, another bar on the street. This is the Whiskey Liquor Down Bar. And right here, here's a better view of that cowboy. And over to the right here, we have a DJ getting ready to go on. And I believe I'll catch a minute or two of that when I come back from the end of the street here. And over here, yet another walk-up bar. This is the Circa. And they are serving frozen cocktails as well. We're getting very close to the end of Fremont Street here and then we'll walk back the opposite direction. There's even a barbecue spot here towards the end of the street, and they also have a stage down here. One 
another thing I want to point out, check out that Golden Gate sign and watch the letters. They kind of rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. It's kind of cool. Classic Vegas sign. And the Golden Gate's got an outside bar as well. And as I mentioned earlier, we are coming back up on that stage. And here she is. I don't recall her name, but she's known as the Dancing DJ. So she's basically playing songs and dancing for most of it. Um, she's got some different scarves and wings and things like that. It's kind of entertaining. And uh, I would say she's a better dancer than she is a DJ. Here's a better look at the video screen up above. I've seen deep sea scenes, I've seen space scenes, and the whole time I was there, I never saw it repeat. So it must be kind of long, but it's very cool. Over here is a better look at the rooftop with the casinos in the background. And there's some asteroids floating above, and I believe at one point the moon or giant asteroid actually rolls right over your head. It's very immersive. Down on Fremont Street, you'll find lots of different vendors, people selling unique artwork, all kinds of different things. This is one of the uh, spray can artists. Right there you'll see that's the entrance to the zip line. It says fly like a superhero. And here's that planet rolling right over us. As I mentioned before, there are plenty of different performances going on, including various bands, and I'll insert some of that footage right now. Well guys, that's going to do it for our trip out to Fremont Street in Las Vegas, Nevada. There is a lot going on here. It's sensory overload, so if that's not your thing, you might want to stay away. But there is a ton to do here and check out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed to future content just like this. And remember, sometimes adventure is a little further away.